welcome or welcome back to my channel this is a kind of a book recommendation video once again and this is going to be the books that are perfect for winter season so how are you all doing during the holiday season i hope things are all slowing down the new year is nearby the christmas is nearby this is the most favorite part of the year for me i don't know when the december hits my serotonin level hits in a very another level christmas brings so much joy december brings so much joy new year brings so much joy i cannot tell you enough how i love december and some happiness are because of the books that i read during the december which is set in the winter and which is atmospheric and makes you feel the cold even when you are inside and drinking a hot cup of coffee so the categories we are going to see today are fantasy middle grades and classic so let's start off with the fantasy category the first book that i want to talk to you about is spinning silver by naomi nowick one of the very very first book that i read that is set in winter so obviously it was very close to my heart i buddy read this with my sister it made it even more special and the characters here the atmosphere everything is top notch the more you sit with this book the more you love it because the initial phases are a little bit tricky and slow but once it picks up the pace it is really out of this world the story follows mariam and irina i guess mariam is the daughter of a money lender he is not very good at his job so she takes it over and literally turns silver into gold by making more money that attracts the attention of the winter king and she has that storyline going meanwhile irina uh, is the daughter of the duke but she is being sold off to zar in the name of marriage but he is kind of a monster so they both are facing life threatening situations what they do is all this book is about this is a retelling of rumple stiltskin my favorite fairy tale so it made it even more special it's really nice it's really atmospheric please do check it out especially during the winter season the next book that i want to talk to you about is kind of a trilogy and it is also a little bit similar to spinning silver because it is also set in northern russia folklore plays a very important role in this too i'm talking about the winter night trilogy this is the first book the bear and the nighting girl this is by katherine arden this was also literally taking me into the snow filled northern russia and making me feel the spine chilling cold inside me so the story follows paisia she is an young woman who sees things that people other people don't see and she also is getting into the bad side of the church because the church is the new upcoming uh religion there and uh, they frown upon the older folklore and for older gods so she is getting to the bad side of the church and also she has a very very um unique ability to know that dark demons that are growing in the forest so only she can help the people there are three books in this trilogy the first one is the bear and the nighting girl the second one is the girl in the tower and the third one is the winter witch I am yet to read the other two but this story is really good probably I'll pick it up this December to finish off the series I hope this will be a very great recommendation for winter too Next is a book that is kind of a duology it is the book that I'm most excited for in this recommendation because this book literally has my heart I loved every character in it I loved every minute of it in the book and this is really something that will stay with me forever so that is the six of crows duology by lee bardugo this is six of crows and this is crooked kingdom the way i see it is six of crows is very much perfect for the fall and autumn season and crooked kingdom is the apt book for the winter season this story follows a group of people who have nothing in common but they are all bound by fate to do an impossible heist for a very wealthy man and uh, the most interesting character of all of them for me personally is kaz and inej their love story is really something the heist literally takes place in a very wintry northern region area so this also will give you all the wintry vibes this is the perfect book to read during winter with a hot co cocoa or hot cup of tea snuggled in a blanket and this is a portal you literally want to go through so a heist story full of action packed adventure found family what is there not to like in this book 
I think this will be the best book to read if you haven't heard of it or read it yet. You should really check this out. Both of these are really very good. This book literally has my heart and I would love you to read it and uh, give me the feedback how you loved it. The next is a huge series where winter is the major plot point and everything is so wintry, so cold. And people keep saying that winter is coming in that series. I know you uh, already guessed what I'm talking about. Yes, it is the Game of Thrones series. My God, it's heavy. Well, if you can see, I have read almost four books in the series. There are two more. I have read till um, A Storm of Swords. And now I am yet to read the... Feast of Crows and there is one more book called Dance with Dragon. So I'm really uh, excited to read this winter these two books. So let's hold only one book because it's really very heavy to hold entire thing. So this is the first book in the series Game of Thrones. I think this is called The Song of Ice and Fire but the first book is The Game of Thrones and it has been if you don't know uh, and living under the rock this is turned into a TV series that is a huge hit. I was a very big fan of it so that made me pick up few books in the initial uh, initial series. There are little bit difference between the books and the series but overall it has already uh, brought out the essence of the book. George R. R. Martin in my opinion is literal genius to create such kind of intrinsic detailed world and such a wonderful story. Speaking of the story, this story is about an iron throne that is the ultimate throne which has the highest power and there are a lot of small kingdoms fighting for it. That is one of the plot points and the other plot point is there is something really mysterious and demonic in the northern side of the kingdom uh, where there is a wall. Beyond that wall there is something creepy and uh, mysterious is brewing up and it is going to attack the kingdom that is the second plot point and the third plot point is it has dragons so you cannot go wrong with this fantasy series this is the ultimate fantasy series but unfortunately it is not complete i'm also waiting for george rr R. martin to finish up this series george please don't die on me before that so that is all about the fantasy part of this uh, recommendation now we are moving on to the middle grade so the first book is the one that I read recently in uh, October that is The Green Glass House by Kate Milford. This one is set in a winter inn where uh, it is exclusively dedicated to smugglers of the area. It's called a smugglers inn. There's a little kid called Milo. He's with his adopted parents and uh, he stays there and suddenly uh, there are a lot of guests coming into the inn which he is not expecting and uh, he starts to think that there is a reason behind these people unitedly coming to the uh, inn during an off season where they are all snowed in and everybody is exchanging stories and this is really really wonderful there is a mystery attached to it there is a twist in the end it is a well written story the only complaint i have about this is they have longer chapters uh, this is a middle grade and it is supposed to be read by kids so I don't know how kids can read that long chapters and I feel like in middle grades the chapters should be very very you know few pages for the children to go through other than that the story is great the atmosphere is great it is really feels like it is made for winter and I really enjoyed it the next book in the middle grade category is one of a book that is really really very atmospheric and heartwarming and so much full of love that is the Emily of the New Moon series. This is the second book. I read the first book and the third book in Kindle. So I have the only copy that screams winter with me. So this is the second book, Emily Climbs. The story itself follows Emily. Uh, she uh, loses her father during the age of 11, I guess. And she is being taken as a foster with her aunt. She has to live up with the tragedy of, uh, of her father and she has to make new friends and she has to strive in the new area where her aunts are all, always almost controlling and it's really really hard for her to cope up in that environment. You can think about this like Anne of Green Gable with a darker twist. I kind of enjoyed the new moon much more better than Anne of Green Gables now that I think of it. I really didn't realize that but I am realizing it now. I liked new moon better than Green Gables. so. 
that's a kind of a shock to me but that is what it is so if you uh, like montgomery's writing in general you will love this the story itself is not so perfect in my opinion but montgomery's writing makes everything forgivable everything is perfect the uh, atmosphere the kind of situation she is putting emily through and uh, the way she comes back it is all really 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 good i enjoyed my entire journey with emily in the new moon so this is one of a book that is really close to my heart i am going to tend to um, think about this book at least during the winter time okay uh, there is a straight out disclaimer whenever i include a middle grade book in a recommendation that has already stolen my heart all these middle grade books have stolen my heart they are really very close to me there's something about middle grade fantasies that make everything so whimsical and uh, very uh, you know very cozy and it makes me feel safe in a kind of way so the next two book series that i'm going to recommend are both Uh, very very close to my heart and they gave me the exact feeling that i described now the first one of it is the nevermore series by jessica townsend this is an ongoing series there are three books out nevermore uh, wonder smith and hollow box so i'm waiting for the fourth one to get released this is kind of a harry potter uh, harry potter risk story this is about a girl morgan crow she is destined to die on her 11th birthday but There comes a man called Jupiter North and he swoops in and saves her takes her into a a different a different world where she has to enter into the wondrous society in order to learn her magic so this is also kind of a female Harry Potter uh, story although there are so much resemblance of Harry Potter and this this is individual in very very um, unique way it is really very good i enjoy the time the kind of animals that talk in here are all my favorites this cat here i love this cat this cat's name is fen every character is really very interesting the series is really really engaging and i can't wait for the fourth book to release this will be a very great winter book recommendation for you speaking of harry potter esque stories what better book can you read in winter other than the harry potter itself so this is the entire collection of harry potter that i have i have the first book outside so there are only six books here that is because i am going to recommend the first book only for this winter all these books are really very perfect for reading during winter or any time of the year for that matter but when it comes to christmas I prefer to read The Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. I'm not going to say what this book is about because I will be insulting people's intelligence and people's love for this book. Everyone knows what this book is about. Harry Potter learns he's a wizard at the age of 11. He has to go to Hogwarts, make new friends and learn a lot of mystery around him and his parents and his parents' death, everything. There's this Voldemort, Hermione Granger, Dumbledore, Snape and my favorite character Hagrid there's a lot more to love than you think so please dive into the book if you have only seen the movies you should really check out the books the book has much more magic in it much more things to say to you to entertain you to make you feel love and make you feel whimsical so this is the ultimate winter recommendation or the ultimate recommendation for any time of the year please do pick this book for you to make yourself happy so we have come to the last part of this video and the final category is classics i don't know if you can categorize these two books as classics but let's see the first one in it is the grim's fairy tale yeah a surprise this is a collection of fairy tales and i don't know this feels really very right during the winter time i kind of pick one fairy tale to tell myself or read to myself during uh, my bedtime this is really very good you have to pick this up especially during winter if you want to add some more magic to your life the last book is a book that i have not completely read but it is a collection of four or five stories i've read the first one and i have watched the movie of it i am in complete love with the characters the storyline the atmosphere in it that is none other than the chronicles of narnia to be specific the lion the witch and the wardrobe by cs lewis The first story is the one that is really very close to my heart. I used to watch this uh, with my sister and my family during uh, winter time and I love Lucy and I love Thumbnus. It is really great. This story is about four siblings who are going to 
uh, their uncle's home I guess because of war in London and in that place they are finding a wardrobe that is kind of a portal to another snowy world called Narnia and they are learning a lot of stuff about themselves in that land and there is an adventure there is betrayal there is love there is forgiveness there is Christmas it is a wonderful time during winter so you should really pick this up and this particular edition has illustrations in them so it is making it even more whimsical so let me show you one or two of them to you so this is the cover of the lion and the witch in the wardrobe so this has beautiful illustrations this is the wardrobe that is a portal to narnia oh this is thumbness can you see This is that famous lamppost and the entire Narnia in place. Isn't this really, really good? This is really cozy and one can read this to their kids. This is the perfect book showing them the pictures and the, the story itself is very, very whimsical. Truly, truly close to my heart. I tend to pick this up during the winter time. So that is pretty much it, guys. I hope these recommendations were helpful for you to pick one or the other book during winter season i hope you all enjoy the holidays really good i wish you a very very happy christmas and a new year i'll see you in a very next video with a bookish content until then this is sushmita signing off <laughs>